1953 was the first year of the um, Corvette. They only made 300 of them. They were all white, red interior, automatic convertibles. And they say there's less than 100, and my wife Kathy and I are blessed to say that we own one of those. 2003, GM didn't do anything special to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Corvette. So what we did is we went and had a company uh, build us our own 50th anniversary. The difference primarily is that we don't break down in this one <laughs> like we do in our 53. <laughs> that and it's about a half a million dollar difference in price. So <laughs> I've got about six or seven of these original uh, split windows. <clears throat> they only made this split window in 1963. Again, GM didn't do anything special to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the split window. So what I did is I took a brand new 013 and had the body taken off and then had a company hand make the molds. Here is what we call this one. <coughs> this is the new 1963. I had three Corvettes before I had a driver's license. So it's been 50 plus years. I've kind of run out of room for all the cars right now. Got quite a few of them in the woods. And I have a weakness for classic cars. 711 horsepower. Smell that turbo, huh? He's upset because mine's louder than his. <laughs> <laughs> He's always had a Corvette. He's always loved classic cars and um, sometimes he goes a little overboard. Volkswagen. I'm going down the road a week ago. This guy motions me over. I pull over in the, in the uh, shopping thing and he just couldn't believe this car. I said, would you like me to get a picture for you? I made him stand on it. <laughs> he just very generous with his cars. When this whole world's over, we're not gonna have cars. We're only gonna have our name and some great memories. So these cars don't mean anything. Have fun with them, do the best you can.